Hello, I am Manon. Uh, I am a chemist working on archaeological artifacts and especially on ancient poetry. <laughs> I'm part of the uh, AXAI 2020 project program and during this project I had to work with other uh, PhD students and this was really really nice because we could share our knowledge but also because I made uh, very good friends. So my research is focused on investigating uh, the function of ancient poetry uh, to try to better grasp the reason behind the, the adoption of this technology by ancient population and uh, more specifically during the uh, early Holocene. So it's about uh, 11,000 years ago. One of the main questions is, we would like to know uh, why they started to use uh, pottery, uh, because before they used other kind of cooking containers, uh, such as uh, skin bags or um, wooden box or basket and so on. Organic residue analysis is the method that we use to determine the sort of um, resources that might uh, cooked in pottery because when they use poetry, for example, to cook, the residue food can be trapped in the fabric of the pots and survive for thousands of years. Typically, what we do is to collect some uh, powder poetry that we can collect uh, in our lab or even uh, in the field when the, the sample cannot uh, leave the territory, which is really good because we can discover a different country. So then by using a combination of chemical processes and analytical methods, we can recover the food molecules, identify them, and then uh, get some insight uh, about vessel use. I worked on a site uh, called Zamochechu, which is in Russia, close to Moscow. And the, the aim of this research was to understand how they used the first uh, poetry introduced at these sites, and also to try to see if the use of the poetry changed over time. So we discovered some very interesting things. One of the main hypotheses is that the first poetry was first made to cook or process aquatic resources, but for in this site we have been able to show that uh, finally they used the poetry for to cook a wider range of foodstuff, such as plants. Uh, like uh, fruits, so we detected uh, viburnum fruits, which is a kind of cranberries, but they also used uh, the, the pot to process aquatic fish, so freshwater aqua uh, fish, and uh, possibly terrestrial uh, animal too. And then it's only seven uh, hundred years later that they started to use the pottery only to cook uh, fish. This results from an important contribution of understanding the function of the first pottery used by hunter-gatherer. I am always really, really impressed to see that from a piece of poetry dated to sometime thousands of years, we can get some information about ancient uh, population activity and human past. I really love what I am doing because it's really diversified. Because one day I can be in the lab, the day after I can be in the field. I'm always learning from what I discover, uh, but also from my colleagues. We are always learning from each other and this is really rewarding.